After completing this tutorial, you will be able to create surface modeling part in Siemens NX Shape Studio using extrude, law extension, swept surface, sew surface, how to extract geometry, how to extract surface, how to fill surface, trim sheets, how to thicken surface, and at the end, how to use edge blend. You are watching CAD Drive and let's get started. So, first, we are going to create a sketch which we are going to extrude about so let's let's create a rectangle now let's uh, fully define this sketch the dimension will be 156 and 81 this length will be 156 width of this rectangle will be 81 mm now our sketch is fully defined now let's we are going to extrude this sketch so go to feature command use extrude in the setting select body type as a sheet the extrude value will be 27 mm body type is sheet click on ok you can see now our sheet body has been created now we are going to use edge blend for this surface so go to home tab select edge blend select this four corners the radius value here will be 25 mm so you can see now our corner surface has been ready now we are going to create flange at bottom side so we will use law extension to create bottom face so let's side this sketch go to home and select law extension here select filter as a face select this edge as a curve and and there I select reference space as this space here the value we are going to extend about is 6 mm the value of angle at which the surface will extend will be 90 degree reverse the direction from face and you can see now our 6 mm extend of surface has been created now we are going to again create a draw extension with respect to 90 degree at this face so select this curve select this face our law extension value at 90, uh, 90 degree angle and the value will be 3 mm so you can see now our base has been created now we have to just fill the surface area here which we are going to create so let's fill the surface go to more tab use fill surface select curve select here tangent surface and here we are going to select fullness option and control point offset will be 5 mm negative 5 and click on show result and you can see now our curve offset has been created to use a fill surface click on ok let's see in section view press ctrl h and you can see now our fill surface has been created at about 5 mm offset now let's show these surfaces together go to show command select all surfaces
click on ok and you can see now our all surfaces has been shown together now let's create edge blend at this face click on edge blend select this two edges the value we are going to create edge blend here will be 2.99 let's say 2.5 2 mm here not selected as a tangent select tangent curve select this edge is The value will be 2.99 mm click on ok so our edge blend at bottom face has been created now let's sweep a surface of u shape at the top of this space so go to sketch command select this face now we are going to use here is intersection point select this curve click on ok and you can see now intersection point has been created now we are going to sketch a u shape profile so let's select arc let's make these two points horizontal cancel this select this point select this tangent face make coincident and you can see now our u shape profile is ready let's create a line here make it for a reference now let's fix this curve trim this curve let's fully define this curve the curve value will be 1.5 mm radius our sketch is fully defined now let's finish this sketch now we are going to create a sweep at this face so let's let's extract this curve select extract geometry select composite curve and the here filter we are going to create is tangent curve select this point again select extract geometry select composite curve filter will be tangent curve you can click on ok and you can see now our composite curve has been created now we are going to sweep around this composite curve so select swept option from more tab the section will be this u shape profile the guide will be this our composite curve click on ok and you can see now our, com our sweep has been created as per this model now at the end we are going to create a trim for this three rectangles so let's sketch at top plane select a rectangle select center point rectangle now let's fully define this sketch The rectangle length and width will be 50 by 5 mm. Length will be 50. Width will be 5 mm. 
select this rectangle go to pattern select pattern as a linear pattern select the direction pa value will be 2 span distance will be 4 0 let's use another direction direction will be this count will be 2 span distance will be 14 mm click on ok finish this sketch now we are going to project this curve with this surface so go to more command here select project curve objective project has been selected let's select this space select this vector vector will be for z direction click on ok and you can see now our curve has been projected on the surface now we are going to trim this surface trim this curve on this surface so select trim sheet our target will be this surface or boundary will be this projected curve in the click on define region and the orange so here we, NX is showing us orange selected entities which we are going to keep you can see now our trim has been created now let's show this all surfaces together click on ok and now we are up. now we are going to create a thicken of this body now let's uh, Define edge blend at this space. Select edge blend radius of 2 mm. Click on OK. Now we are going to thicken this surface. Go to more command, use thicken, select this surface. Offset value of, means thickness of this sheet will be 2 mm click on ok and you can see now our solid body has been created you can see in section view our solid body has been created from surface body now let's hide this section view hide this page now let's define color for this body press ctrl j You can see now our model has been ready. Please make sure you like, share and subscribe this channel for more videos and tutorials like this. Thank you for watching.